Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, we are going to learn about loop components in Microsoft Teams. Now loop components are such a great feature within Microsoft Teams that it will help you to do or solve so many day-to-day -day tasks and the polls basically that you do within your team, right? So for example, we have a development team, right? So we have a development team wherein we have certain members within the team, right? Now certain many times, you know, we want to see how many people are or what their plans are for next uh, sprint or one month. Uh, apart from that, if say for example, we are working on certain tasks, what is the status of those tasks for each and every member? We want to see and get the list of updates and everyone needs to update that. So usually what teams do, they have this Excel sheet and maintain all the tasks within the Excel sheet and people go ahead and update that. But with the loop components, let's see what all things we can solve with it, right? So in Microsoft Teams, you will see this icon here, okay? And this is what the loop components is. So if I click on the loop component, you will see that you can send a component in this particular team chat, right? So this is the development team chat where I have added few members of the team and I can send the component to everyone in the chat who can then edit in line, right? So I can send a bulleted list, I can send a checklist uh, of the items. Say for example, I want to see how many, uh, I have a task list or a checklist and I want to see, uh, and, and these tasks are being assigned to different members of the team and I want to see how many of them have been basically completed, right? So I can have this checklist in that particular case, right? So I can click on checklist and then you will see that it started syncing, right? So I can say that release one task status, right? And then we can add different tasks here. Okay, so I can say unit testing, system testing, defect fixer. So say for example, hypothetically, there were some tasks that need to be completed before we can go ahead with the release, right? So I as a lead or manager, I can go ahead and update all of this uh, with the loop component and then go ahead and send it, right? So let me, okay. So you can see that, you know, you, after you have done all of this loop components, you can click on this send loop components. Okay, so let me send it and then zoom out again. Okay, so you can see properly. Okay, so now you will see that the loop component has been sent and now the team basically can go ahead and so the members of the team can go ahead and they can whosoever is assigned these tasks they can go ahead and say okay this has been done right so they can simply tick box that and that will be striked off and everyone will be basically be able to see that yes this has been done successfully okay so this is how the loop component will help you to see the quick status the next use case is basically around let me move the video here so next use case is around say for example i want to see what is the or what are the plans for next month of the whole team right so i can say add a table right and i can have certain columns and rows there okay and here i can have the team member name right and then if they are on leave or not okay so on leave for the next month so we can simply say, please answer whether you are on leave for next, um, on leave on any days for the next month or no, right? And if yes, then dates, please. Okay, so which date you are going on leave, right? So then here you can mention the team member name. So I can say the team member name, okay? And then simply go ahead and send this particular table, right? And here I can update. So here I can say update leaves for next month. Okay. And you specify the month. Say, for example, I want to say January 2023. All right. And then when you send it, everyone in this particular chat will be notified that yes, there is a loop component and people will be able to update this collaboratively, right? And it will be available for everyone. So say for example, uh, I'm, I've got this loop component. I have got this in chat. So I'll be notified anyways. Everyone will be notified and I'll say, yes, I'm on leave. Uh, and then I'll update the dates, right? So I'll update, you know, what dates I'm on leave. So I can say, I'm leave on leave on 2nd of 
10, 20, 23. Okay, so accordingly, people can update the dates and others can update the dates and the status as well. So this is basically how the loop component is going to really help you, whether it's a task status, whether you are capturing the leave status. And if you see, there is a checklist, there is a task list as well, right? So you can, for the tasks, you can use the task list. So here I can specify, you know, what all tasks. So for example, we need to uh, finish something, right? So we need to finish some tasks. So I can say release one tasks to be completed, right? Then I can specify the task name. So I can say unit test, then I can say system test right and then who needs to do that right so if within unit test as well if there is any specific granular level detail for us for a specific users to your requirement i can then go ahead and assign right so i can you know add a mention as well to the person who is allocated that particular task right so i can assign this to the team members as well and then also specify the due date for that task so i can say okay you, we need to finish this by this particular date and the system test needs to be finished by you know 16th right and then you can keep adding more tasks there and then go ahead and send it right now the team will be notified that yes this is basically the task list that needs to be done for this particular release and this is very helpful for the sprint work as well so usually most of the development team work in sprints so within the sprint if you can quickly go ahead and have this for the development team for the testing team individually this makes team more effective and everyone knows what exactly needs to be done what is the due date who is the assignee and they can work on it collaboratively and they can update it here basically you know whether it, this is completed um, by this particular date or not or if it is completed they can update and everyone will be able to see the status of loop components that have been shared here within this particular team chat itself right so this is the basic of the loop component how you are going to use the loop component and what exactly their relevance is very helpful feature and you can think of so many different ways where you can use loop components within your tool uh, within your team okay now the next thing is say for example now these loop components are visible on the teams in the team chat so if you want to you know see where exactly this gets stored right so if i simply you know click on this loop component it will go to the office.com right and all of these loop components will be stored in your office.com account itself okay so let me simply go ahead and check once it's signed in okay so you'll see that here i'm able to see the loop components right so the the task if i go to home page here right so i'm in the office.com i'm signed up in my account here and then you will see that all the loop components that have been shared in the chat are available here so release one task status task to be completed the leaves everything i can go ahead and click on those and see here in my office.com account in microsoft 365 account itself so everything gets saved whatever is there in your team's chat history whatever leave loop components you have shared as well okay so let me refresh you will see that here i have this right so if you click on the ellipses here you can basically open you can share it as well as an email or a copy link or in the teams to some other uh, team members as well you can add to the to do or favorite hide or download it as well okay so if i go ahead and open so it will open the file location right or click on open okay let me refresh it's not loading so here it shows that it is available but if i go to home let me go back here and let's try clicking here again to see the other loop component that i have shared so your loop components will be visible something like this in your office.com account right and as and when people update uh, in your team the loop components everything will basically get updated here as well as in your office.com account as well right so everything gets saved over the cloud so it will be available for you in this list here so that is pretty much uh, all about the loop components very helpful feature very effective so if you don't want to use it go ahead try using it with your team you'll be really amazed how effective and collaborative or uh, you can work in a more collaborative way with your team and get all the inputs and feedback from the team easily with the loop components so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for